the father goes out to, to the older son to, to talk to him. And he said, My son, you are always with me, and everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be glad, because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. The oldest brother's response to the younger brother coming home must have broken his father's heart. The father wanted the older son to feel the same joy that he felt because his younger brother had had returned. But the older son did not feel that joy. And in the process, the father showed him grace as well. He didn't shame him for for the way he responded. He didn't say, who do you think you are? Why do you think you you deserve a party? Instead of putting his son in, in his place, the father extends to him grace and invited him to, to come in and, and share in the party. The father gave a message of, of grace to, to both sons. To the younger son, he said, no matter what you've done, you're still my son. And to the older son, he says, you are my son, and you don't have to work to gain my acceptance. The father showed both sons grace in in their lives. How much grace is there between you and your husband? How much grace is there between you and your wife? How much grace is there between you and your children? How much grace is there between you and your brother or sister? As we look at this parable of the prodigal son, God's invitation to us is that we be like the Father. God's invitation to us is to have grace-filled relationships in our home. Is your home a a place that is filled with grace-filled relationships? Or is your home a place that is void of grace? God's call to us is to be like the Father. Be those that shower grace upon our family. To shower grace in our relationships. In order that we might share His love with others. Let us pray. Lord, forgive us for those times and those ways. in which we hold back grace in our homes. Forgive us for those times and those ways that we do not shower grace upon our spouse. For those times and those ways that that we fail to shower grace upon our our children because somehow we want to have something to hold over their heads or or to... um, to use as leverage in the future. Lord, may we be those who keep short accounts in our lives and those who are always willing to to show and, and shower grace into the lives of others for your kingdom's sake. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen.